For the first time since 1996, the Wisconsin Badgers are taking part in the NIT. Between then and now, every other Big Ten team has been in it. And the Badgers got off to a good start on Tuesday night with an 81-62 win against the Bradley Braves, regular season champions in the Missouri Valley Conference. The Badgers got the win in very large part due to Stephen Crowell's career night, a 36-point performance from the big man. We'll check out some of the highlights from Tuesday's round one game. We'll hear from Isaac Gard, son of the head coach. And speaking of which, we'll talk to Isaac's dad as well. All in this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Pulled down by Klesman, mid post right, out to Hepburn, open three, left wing, in and out, no good. Crowd the offensive rebound of the right block. He's against Hannah. Crowd now double teamed inside, now goes the wall, low on the left, slam dunk, Tyler Wall. Nine for Wisconsin, three and a half minutes gone by. Wall, little crossover, cuts left lane line in traffic, bangs off the glass and rim, no good. Gilmore the offensive rebound. Just took it away from two Bradley Braves, and now Gilmore dribbling in the lane, back to Kamari McGee. He'll drive to the line, down the lane, hanging, shooting, hitting off the window. First points for McGee, it's 15 to eight, Wisconsin. It's a three left corner, off the rim, no good. Just Sean Henry the rebound. His outlet pass stolen away by Wall on the right wing. And now a siege and feeds Davis streaking to the rim. He'll catch and finish. Jordan Davis with his first points. And here's Klesman to the front court. High screen crowd. A throwback to crowd. Left of the circle. Three on the way. Book it. Steven Crow is 42% from distance at home. It's a triple. Chucky at the top of the circle against Tom and Einan. Chucky trying to shake and go. Spins it out to Crow for three. Left side. Money. Second three-point hit for Steven Crow. Hepburn using screens from Gilmore and Crow to the left side. Finds Klesman left corner. Max dribbles off the wing. Out to Crow. Open three. Right of the circle. Got it. Going glass. When you're hot, you're hot. And Crow has 19 in the first half, including three triples. Right of the lane, out the crowd, top of the circle, gives off to Gilmore. Gilmore slips to the crowd, low on the left, slam dunk again. Crow with 23, and the lead back to seven for Wisconsin. Gilmore single coverage from Mast. Backing is Gilmore, still backing. Finds a cutting, Klesman to the rim, way up good. Klesman with nine, the fine from Gilmore. Flips to Hepburn on the left side. Chucky out the crowd, clear look at the three, left side, got it. The fourth three for Steven Crow, and he has himself a career high. Here's Hepburn, left the lane for Wisconsin, throws to Crow, why not, takes the three, he is on fire. Steven Crow having a career night, he now has 29 points. Loops it in the wall, trying to spin to the baseline, and Henry staggered, a feed to Crow, on the left, slam dunk, it counts, and a foul. This is Wisconsin basketball. And Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pilfer. Down the lane, slam dunk. Now it's Jordan Davis for three on the right side, and he sticks it. With two, Hepburn down, off the glass. Chucky right of the paint, behind the back pass, crowd for three, straight on, straight in. Let's have a party, Badger Nation. You have yourselves a Big Ten champion. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. Buildingwisconsintogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. When you've been injured, you need the hometown team on your side. Trust us to get you back in the game. Call Wisconsin's own Gruber Lofts, proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. You'll hear things like, you're gonna need to see a specialist. That what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments, with better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Kids eat free at all Wahlburgers at High V locations. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under, choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, and chicken fingers, while adults can enjoy burgers, sandwiches, salads, and more. 
Dine in at Wahlburgers at High V stores and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day. Only at Wahlburgers at High V. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. Injured? You need a team you can trust. Call Gruber Law Offices today. Serving the people of Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Badger Athletics. One call, that's all. A good win against a very good team. So I'm really happy for these guys because they put a lot into this year. Um, obviously we've had ups and downs, but uh, for them to be able to continue to play basketball and, and play it well tonight, um, happy for them. I think probably just the confidence, um, kind of like Jeff said, once you get going early, see a couple uh, early buckets go in, see a couple free throws go in, then you start feeling good, and, um, and then you see a couple threes go in, and you just keep shooting them until you, until you miss. So um, I think just getting to the line early was the big thing for me tonight. His confidence, I mean, I've talked about it several times through the year, just I, I tell him all the time, I think he's, I've seen all the bigs come through here in the last 20 years, and I think he can be right there with those guys um, that are on the Mount Rushmore, so to speak, of stretch bigs um, that we've had here in the last two decades. So, uh, and I think getting him to believe that has been the, the biggest thing. So tonight's a big step in that. Aggressive tonight uh, within the confines of what we like to do on offense. Um, and that kind of just showed, I think, um, getting to the free throw line early on, um, getting good looks at the rim early on in the paint, and then open up the three point line a little bit later in the game. So um, just everybody with the same aggressive mindset. That's the neat thing about this tournament, even though we obviously you, we understand where our goals were, um, it's another opportunity for us to get experience, play better, get better. Well, obviously disappointed that we didn't make it, but this is just another opportunity for us to go out and try to win a championship in the NIT. And that's how I think uh, all of us are approaching it and taking it day by day, practice by practice, with that same mentality going forward. So, uh, yeah, a lot of winners. The coach is always on us about on to the next, and um, you can hang your head for a day or two, but then once practice comes again, you got to lock back in. Like Clay said, it's another op opportunity uh, for us to go out and um, hopefully get a championship. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist that what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team, with research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. Kids eat free at all Wahlburgers at High V locations. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, and chicken fingers. While adults can enjoy burgers, sandwiches, salads, and more. Dine in at Wahlburgers at High V stores and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day. Only at Wahlburgers at High V. Well, the Badgers get to continue to play games, obviously, the opening round of the NIT Tuesday night at the Kohl Center against the Bradley Braves. And with that, we welcome in head coach Greg Gard. And, you know, there are there are benefits, I would think. I know each school has to do what's in its own best interest. And, you know, North Carolina had decided not to, to be a part of this. Obviously, your guys did decide to be a part of it. Can you just tell us what what all goes into that you know the decision moving forward to participate right. in this event yeah i think the the main thing matt that it came down to i did not not want to take away an opportunity from our guys to be able to play more games so um we actually had to make that decision as a coaching staff or administration prior to the big 10 tournament and and let the ncaa know where we would stand on that so uh, i felt at that point in time you know it wasn't we're trying to do things in the best interest of our guys, and I think knowing those, 
those players like I do that they'd want to play more games. So that's really where we came to, and um, you know that's that's the route we're going down. Yeah, hearing that, uh, I always think of Garrett Groshek, different sport, but he was a really good football player here. And it was the COVID year; they had beaten Minnesota in overtime, three and three record. They had a couple games canceled, and there was a feeling in some circles like, okay, that might be a good one to just be take let that be the mic drop take the rest of the year off don't play in a bowl game and someone asked Garrett that he said you never have to ask me if I want to play football the answer is right. always yes yeah so I, when I when I th when I hear you I think about Garrett and I was saying basketball players want to play basketball games so well, there's it, they're gonna turn the scoreboards it, right? on scoreboards going on they're gonna keep score we got referees you're playing for something there's mm -hmm. a championship here in a, in a postseason opportunity so I, again I just the, the window that these student athletes athletes have here is such so small in their continuum of of life that it just I didn't feel it was right to remove one of those opportunities regardless of where it was going to happen. And then beyond the obvious of if you get in this, you're in it to win it, right. of course. But we see this, and we saw in the Big Ten tournament, Ohio State had a couple of young guys emerge, right. and you know the stars started to shine on them a little bit. You never know. There could be somebody right. who doesn't hasn't had a lot of minutes yet, who may be showing you stuff here and right. those opportunities. Well, I think present. anytime you can, you got a younger team that you want to give more opportunities to grow with, um, or grow from. It's another chance for them to play against a really good team, regardless of who you're going to play. Um, no matter where what happens, you're going to play really good teams, teams that have won conference championships. Maybe they didn't get the tournament automatic bid. So, um, and it's a chance for younger guys to get some postseason experience and, and launch pad into next year. Going to jump around some different topics here later on. We're going to hear from your son, Isaac Gard, valuable member of this program, a lot of work on the scout team, and got his perspective of you know, being able to see his dad every day. I know at the beginning, the very first show we did in all summer long, I'm sure you were hit with that question. Uh, but now that we're here in the month of March, how cool has it been? Every day, you, as opposed to maybe a few minutes a day at best, right. if he's not on the team, but being able to see him. I probably see him once a month if he's not <laughs> on the team, whenever he needs his bank account runs low or something, exactly. needs some loan for some, some cash for some for lunch or something, or needs a free meal, he'll come and see me. <laughs> That's how it um, works, right? Yeah, you know. Uh, but, no, it, it's been awesome. You know, I, and I think the coaches that I talk to that had had that experience in the past uh, all of them said you'll never you'd be foolish not to do it not to have him as part of your team and he's done a really good job I know it's it's not easy being a coach's kid you know that's that's uh, he's he learned that a long time ago before he ever <laughs> was on the team that it's just uh, you know he, uh, all of our kids have had to sacrifice a lot and and haven't had dad around maybe as much as they deserve or should have um, so to have this opportunity to be able to ha to have him with us every day, and he's done, he's gotten better. I've been impressed. He's getting bigger, stronger. Um, ball handling has gotten much better. The assistants have done an awesome job with his <laughs> development. He splashes in threes in the scout team, gets my blood pressure boiling a little bit when we can't guard him. So uh, it, it's been an awesome experience. I do have to cover my face at times when I see that because sometimes those shots that he makes, all of a sudden I'm hearing the head coach say, put 60 on the clock or whatever, yeah. and there's some running that's involved. Right. right? Yeah, <laughs> we have to make sure that we, we guard him as, as well as others. But he's a smart young man now. I'm not just saying that because he's your he's Yeah, your well, he's son, got a right? lot of mom's DNA yeah. in him. Okay, uh, so that's, that, that's where is. he gets that. <laughs> yeah, that comes from that. But, no, he, he will do. He's, you know, he's in the uh, personal finance yeah. major now and mm -hmm. looking at the school of business. Uh, he'll he'll do very well uh, yes. in whatever whatever path he chooses. As we continue to hit some different topics here, I know we, t we touched on this before the, the tournament game in Chicago uh, last week, but something that you guys have been you know working on here, and I guess rather quietly behind the scenes, but now the award has been earned. Chris Lowry, an assistant coach right. at, at Northwestern, uh, the winner of the Howard Moore Assistant Coach of the Year of the Big Ten. I thought it was really cool, uh, Coach Lowry on and, and, and social media, he knows what this means. Obviously, right. he knows Howard and, and knows the significance of it. Uh, that's that's a really cool award to have. Uh, absolutely. It? I mean, it's been a long time, probably overdue in the in the making, but to be able to get that through the coaches and they all unanimously jump behind it when we first presented it almost a year ago, and then the Big Ten to jump behind it from an administration standpoint. Um, it had to go through, obviously, a lot of a process there to, to become an award, but uh, just so happy for Howard and his family to that he can be recognized and he deserves to have a, an award named after him and you know between his time as a player in this league a coach two different times in this league 
you know, worked at the Big Ten Network, so there's a – and everybody knows him and everybody loves Howard Moore. So I know Chris um, – I text with him when it got announced, and he's – He's very appreciative, as you mentioned. You know, he's gone through some he's gone through some rough times himself. I've seen all the every coach coach head coach got to nominate the, one of their assistants and had to put a story behind it of what they've done. And and I know Chris's personal story of w- the things he's had to battle with his family and the adversity he has it overcome and what he does for the people around him. So that's a great, awesome first year recipient of the Howard Moore Award. Yeah, a lot of great coaches in this conference, head coaches, assistants as well. So congratulations to uh, assistant coach Chris Lowry at Northwestern, the Howard Moore assistant coach of the year. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA member benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from, and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and, most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E I E I Odyssey. WEA Member Benefits, dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, WEABenefits.com. In the Big Ten Conference, there are five father-son combinations. Head coach whose sons are on the basketball team and one of them right here, Isaac Gard. I think you know his father, uh, head coach Greg Gard. Um, Let's talk about this. I, I think, you know, your your dad has said, Isaac, one of the great things about having you on the team is that you actually get to spend time together. Yeah. Uh, put this into some perspective, because most of us really don't know last year or previous years, how much would you actually see your father to spend quality time with during the course of the season? Yeah, uh, it's not a whole lot, I would say. Uh, during the season, he's probably home a little more, but he's pretty busy doing scouts <laughs> or preparing for practice or whatever. And then during you know the off season, he's on the road a ton, so I really there's long stretches there where you don't see him. But uh, it's been that way for as long as I can remember, so I'm kind of <laughs> used to it at this point. So how cool is it now being around him a little, being around him a lot more than what you were previously? Yeah, yeah it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Seeing him every day is awesome it's really cool one of the things about it in in the role that you have on this team i was talking to ross candelino about this too i mean i see enough practices there are days where you're making everything he's making a lot of shots and ross said one of the great things is making the other guys run i would imagine he speaks for all of you in those settings right yep absolutely whenever scout team can get those (laughs) those starters and the rest of the guys coming off the bench to you know get a couple ups and downs because we score down too much during scout is it's always good. It's always a good feeling. Tell us the, the, again more about the role. We've had this, this place has had a number of guys who are just who embrace it. When you get a scout, when you're starting to prepare, take us through what what that's like. When when you're talking with the assistant and just getting the report, and then going through walkthroughs and and then getting out on the practice floor. Uh, I think that definitely the biggest thing is just getting the guys a good look at what they're running. Whether sometimes you're not making every shot on the scout team, but that's all right if. You know, the starting guys guarded a screen wrong or did something like that. You try to make them pay. But either way, you got to, like, have them learn and have them figure it out before the game. So I think that's, you know, one of the most fun things. I get to watch film on another team and see how they score and see if I can replicate that in practice and give these guys the best look. How much of how much of doing that has helped you learn more about the game itself, the X's and O's and the various ways that, that different programs play? Yeah, yeah, tremendously, especially on the defensive end figuring out you know how like we should be guarding things and trying to exploit you know if guys are not performing you know particularly mm-hmm. well uh but yeah it's, it's helped a ton if you had a favorite uh, I've, I've talked to a lot of guys over the years they've had favorite if it's opposing players where you could just 
cut it loose and let it fly. Do you have a favorite here so far? Uh, so far, it's been Penn State's Andrew Funk, for sure. <laughs> just run around and shoot anytime you catch the ball in their space. So. Yeah, I say that would be a fun team to uh, to emulate. Yeah, yeah, I was talking to Coach Chambliss about that, about a similar, you know, when you guys were playing Nebraska, the, the kid, Kasey Tominaga, if this Coach Chambliss would have been that guy. Mm -hmm. who would have been emulating him. I suppose that guys like that would be fun, too. Anybody who just fills it in a hurry, right? Yep. Biggest adjustment for you, from uh, for those who don't know, he played, he went to Oregon here and uh, played for the Panthers. And you know, I guess first year, you know, your senior year, because of all the COVID stuff, it was a short season, like 14 mm -hmm. games that you guys played. How, uh, I mean, we all understand the why, but how, how frustrating was that? I mean, you know, imagine you could speak for any number of high school seniors who kind of had a disjointed into your, uh, to your high school mm -hmm. career. Yeah, it was definitely frustrating not being able to play any games inside Dane County, nothing at home, nothing in front of, you know, fan, fans and mm -hmm. friends and all that, you know, just parents, really. So it was frustrating, but, you know, and it was frustrating at the time knowing that, you know, maybe that's how my basketball career ends. It's just, you know, during this COVID year, but now super glad that I'm able to do this and you know it's not the end of the end of the road is that COVID year. Have you had a welcome to the Big Ten moment? Has there been anything with the course of practices, the weight training, any of that kind of stuff? Uh, yeah there's definitely <laughs> been some. You get switched on to Tyler Wall and you know there's a welcome to the Big Ten moment <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah there's definitely it's more physical game, faster game. There's been more moments than I can probably count right now. So, yeah. You mentioned Tyler. He talks about how much he's learned about the game, you know, from from your dad and just the you know, the X's and O's. Uh, and then there's the physical nature of it too. What is what what has been? What would you say has been the biggest adjustment from high school ball to playing here in the Big Ten? Definitely the physical nature. It's mm -hmm. faster. It's everyone's bigger, stronger. So I mean that like trying to catch up with that. It's just taking time, you know, in the weight room mm -hmm. and stuff like that. The X's and O's part is a lot of fun to learn and stuff, and that I feel like I can, you know, be ahead of the game a little bit on that part. Mm -hmm. uh, but the physicality is definitely a huge adjustment. You guys have been together a long time here, going this team this season with the summer, going to France, and then obviously the Bahamas trips and all that. It's when you get to the, to February, it seems like you know that could be the so-called dog days, but you guys seem like every day. You know, the, you're joking. You're, you're, the camaraderie on this team really seems to be good. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, for sure. We got a couple of guys who will do nothing but joke around a lot, like Ross, like you said. Me yep. and him are good buddies <laughs> on the end of the bench. We joke around a lot, keep the guys loose. So there, there's no shortage of keeping guys loose. I would say. Is there another guy? No, uh, Gilmore at one point, he, you kind of claimed that role a little bit. Is he mm -hmm. still Carter he, still oh, in there? Yeah. Without he's, a doubt? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> It's important to be able to do that, right? Because the season can get long, the travel, the midweek, the missed classes, trying to keep up with everything. You've got to be able to understand this is supposed to be fun, though, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. It's the number one thing. you got to keep it fresh and exciting and fun. So, it's Final harder. thought, coolest part about your dad, coach guard, your father. What, what's the coolest part about this whole college basketball world you're living right now? Uh, I think just seeing him every day at practice. Uh, we're both doing things that we love to do. I think just the biggest thing, seeing, learning from him, learning from these other guys is the most fun. All right, Isaac Gard, Badgers freshman uh, out of Oregon, Wisconsin. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badgers Sports Report. These are operating engineers. They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. You'll hear things like, you're going to need to see a specialist that what you have is serious, like really serious. And then you meet them, your medical team. With research and clinical trials and new treatments. With better procedures that lead to better results. Then it hits you, you're gonna be okay. UW Health, remarkable medicine, remarkable care. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health, the healthcare team for the Badgers. Learn more at uwsportsmedicine.org. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. 
buildingwisconsintogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. On next week's show, we'll continue to track the Wisconsin basketball team and we'll also get a peek of the Wisconsin football team as spring practices are fast approaching. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield. Kids eat free at all Wahlburgers at High V locations. Get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree. Kids 12 and under choose from favorites like a burger and fries, grilled cheese, and chicken fingers. While adults can enjoy burgers, sandwiches, salads, and more. Dine in at Wahlburgers at High V stores and get a free kids meal with the purchase of an adult entree every day. Only at Wahlburgers at High V. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.